you're in the middle of all this. She's my crazy cousin. Oh, you're related. <laughs> yes, I'm more cousins. So we're, you know. I don't want to call I, her crazy. I don't find her crazy at all. I find her uh, uh, just no, interesting. No, I don't mean that offensively. You know that. Would I get offended? No. Just think of me. I have a question. I, I wondered if you could explain how your kiln works. That huge long thing is your kiln? That is, yeah. And so you put a fire in the yeah. down below it's it pit? It's a very primitive uh, piece of equipment. It um, dates back, the design dates back to about the 10th century. China. Northern China. Really? And uh, <coughs> fundamentally it's a, it's a slight advance over the open pit fire, right? Where you just build something here and the heat goes straight up. Well, they figured if you build an open pit fire and you construct something above it which actually funnels the heat kind of up through a tube, then you can fire pottery in that too and get to a higher and higher temperature. And they also found that it created a blast furnace effect across the coals. <coughs> and that way they were able to get elevated temperatures. And you can only get so hot in an, in an open fire. <coughs> so um, you know, the concept there is what's called a cross draft. Fire starts down at the lower end of the tube, proceeds upward across the wear. So there'll be one side that's fired <coughs> before the other side. And so, do you you have an em you have an opening up above, which is where you oh. yeah, well, I have side opening. Up side up, opening. How you load that. And so, how much do you can you put in there at once? We get about we get about um, six thousand pounds of clay in there at one time. One so how? About, you know, a thousand pots. A thousand pots. And do you wait till you have that much before you fire? <laughs> yeah, you have to. You yeah. have to. And what does that word mean on the side? Invalise? Invalise? Yeah. That's what? my wife's name. Ah, what a pretty name. Did you build that kiln? I did, we yeah. just met her. And then at the top of the kiln, you have a chimney. You have a chimney at the top of the kiln, and it has an opening on the side with bricks. Right. Is that for taking out? <coughs> no, that's uh, <coughs> that's for actually getting into the chimney. If you, if we, at one point I thought I might use the chimney to, to fire pottery, but I never had. Okay, and then from there it turns, and you've got another humongous square kiln, right. <coughs> which is gas fire. Oh, so that's not connected. It's connected to the chimney. I so they see. They share a chimney. Okay. But they're not fired simultaneously. Okay. And so, do you crawl into this whole thing? In fact, that man who was just here, Dave Bean, I hired him to help me about, I don't know, 25 years ago or so. And his first job was going to be load the kiln. And we took <laughs> took him out there one day and we couldn't fit him in it. And, uh, yeah, let's do, you'll do something else. And he turns out, you know, he's, he's a very talented artist and painter, so he does a lot of the decorations now. Wow. <laughs> I'm tired of wow. Wow. So, are, are you, do you know other people with this kind of kiln? <laughs> there are a few others. I have, have trained a lot of potters over the years. And most of my students have kilns like this back around the world, actually. I have Australian potter, there's a uh, potter in Africa, actually. There's a potter in uh, Midwest, down south, there are a few of them. So there are some wood-fired kilns around, not a lot, but some. Do you have to use a particular kind of wood? <clears throat> no, in fact, uh, it's good to have a mixture. Soft, hard, big, small, you know, because there's various different kinds of flame that you want to create from mm -hmm. different moments in the firing as well. What is the name of the kind of kiln? Well, it has a sort of a long uh, technical name is um, Sino Korean Tubular Pipe Kiln. Basically, it's, uh, as I said, it's from northern China, but the technology kind of went across the border and was used a lot in Korea. It's still used in Korea a lot, so it's considered Sino-Korean for that reason, and tubular pipe is obvious. It's a tube. There's no interior walls in the kiln, so it's all, all the fuel is used to fire pottery. 
There are kilns, wood kilns, <coughs> that will have interior walls. So there's a whole aspect of heating and cooling the brick that's in there. We designed it so that all the um, heating and cooling was for sellable work. Mm -hmm. It's more efficient. Mm -hmm. A little less easy to control. Mm -hmm. So what, what time of day do you does your day begin? Uh, yeah, normal. You know, I'm a nine to five or nine, nine to, to five four, or? really. I try mm -hmm. to break it four. But the thing about having your own business, which I'm sure anybody will tell you, is it's relentless, you know, oh, really course. ever. Of course. You're and never off unless you go away. And even then you're probably And you know. work in this particular place in the winter? I also? do, yeah. We close it in, we put windows in. Uh-huh. And we get our wood stove cranked up. Uh huh. And you're good to go. It's doable. How how um how long does it take you to accumulate a thousand pots before it's about you? About a ten week cycle, we call it. Two and a half months maybe. And where do you keep them all? In this huge yeah, warehouse? Yeah. Gradually fill it up. How long ago did you do it? I started uh, no. 35 years ago. This year, 1974. How, I, mean, I meant how long ago did you oh. fire the last the oh, kiln? just a week or so ago. So you don't have many pots here at the moment? Yeah, yeah we're kind of cleaned out a little bit. So and so these racks will all be filled with yep. ra rows and rows of pots? Yeah. And that's where you put them when you're waiting to put them in the kiln? Yeah, here in the back room, there's more rooms there, there's front rooms. We get it all chocolate block. And um, you've got little holes on the side of that long tube. Right. That's um, <clears throat> Those are used to either site cones. We talked about the cones, mm -hmm. um, which tell you what temperature. Each cone is calibrated to melt at a certain temperature. And in the, when it comes to pottery, time is critical also. So they're calibrated to melt at a certain length of time it's been at that temperature. So some of those ports are for that. Other ports are for actually introducing fuel. So we'll throw so little you, pieces of wood. Oh, in there. To suck, <coughs> suck the heat up. Remember, it was a tube right on a uh -huh. slope. So you get it hot, hot here, and then you go a little bit ahead of it, and you throw wood in, and that sucks the heat through. That's what those little openings are. Oh. And then sometimes you'll throw wood behind it, and you'll push the heat through. So it's always you're always pushing and pulling heat through that. And how long is the fire? Is how long is the kiln burn? It's about three days. And cold to finish. We'll burn a small fire for about a day and a half, which is called a preheat. <coughs> and then for about 20 hours, we just are firing stove. 24, stoking. 24 years, 24 hours you're monitoring this yeah, thing. Yeah, 20 hours. Really? Yeah. 20 we're hours. monitoring it for 76 hours, but for the first day and a half, you only have to throw a piece of wood on every few hours. But when we go to what we call full fire, you're stoking every couple of minutes. Really? And so you're putting them in, in those holes all the way up? All the way up. So you start at the bottom, you put some wood in, you move up and up and up, and you keep, yeah, and you then go you go back, back to the bottom. All over and, yeah. and Okay, 20 hours, so you got somebody else helping you. Yeah, usually it's a three person at least. Sometimes I'll have four or six people. <clears throat> My website has a form on it. If anybody's interested in coming and helping, they can fill it out, and then I'll send an e I send an email out. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And your website is at c cbpots.com for all you <laughs> YouTubers. I think I Thailand who want to come and fire the camera. I think I found it online. Would you? A couple yeah. Years ago. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And did you know about the kiln? Well, no, and I didn't know about the kiln, but there aren't too many pottery places anymore. And, right. um, it's less and less. Yeah. And In and out. Yeah.